format 2 version 2 uh, format 2 version 2 is basically the use of while in uh, in place of for next all right so if we look at for next loop which is simple one number loop we see the difference only at here here instead of for we have while here instead of next we have and while and the third difference is this now this is one major difference because of the reason that for next does count itself because it is a count based loop so it counts itself every time next is encountered the count gets increased automatically by one while this while loop is a condition based loop this is not basically a count based loop so this does not count itself so you have to make it count so you would have to include this uh, statement that says that count is equal to count plus one without any if or anything so we can call this count without decision what do we call it count without decision all right so this is count without decision so these are the changes where that we have to make all right while instead of for and and while instead of next and count without decision we have to add ourselves because this while does not count the way for counts okay so now let's just solve this question first of all we leave a little space for the initialization as usual and then let's write the question all right so after initialization we have a while count is less than 500 okay we are not making it while count is less than or equal to 500 for the reason that we will be initializing count to 0 so less than a 500 would make the whole count work for 501 times over here that we have got like 500 countries so from 0 to less than 500 would be the 500 times now in version 1 of format 2 or the while we had input before the while for the reason that their input was dependent sorry uh, the condition was dependent on input over here condition is not dependent on input rather condition is dependent on the count so we will be counting anyway 500 counts and we every time the count changes we reach to the while we will che check the condition so as usual input population and land area then we have formula for population density is equal to population divided by land area <coughs> output population density this is done this is done this is done this is done now they want average but they want average not for the population density rather they want average for the population so in this total we will be totaling the population instead of population density total is equal to total plus population and then we have counting with decision because they have not asked for any specific percentage or any specifically counted variable so we would just leave it and then this counting is an integral part so we have to increase count ourselves so count is equal to count 
plus 1. Now this thing, the addition to the count is done by the for itself. Every time next happens, for does it itself. But since this particular version of while is while itself is condition based, so it doesn't do it, so we have to do it ourselves. Okay, then we have extreme values. So extreme values we have here the largest and the smallest here. So if population density is greater than the largest then largest is equal to population density and if if population density is less than smallest then smallest is equal to population density and if so this is done so instead of next we will write and while and now we need to find the average so average is equal to total now this total is of population divide by 500 and then we output the good practice says that output in the order as asked so the largest smallest and the average the last thing remains is initialization so we will look into each statement and check out what is basically the variable so these are variables this is a variable this is the new variable here this is the uh, just done the largest thing smallest one the average so as we have already outlined now let's just initialize them so first of all we have count so let's just initialize count count is equal to 0 then we have pop pop is equal to 0 land area is equal to 0 then we have total is equal to 0 then we have largest largest equal to minus 1000 and smallest is equal to 1000 and then we have only average left average is equal to 0 that's about it thank you